From rumors of him replacing Will Smith in a long-awaited sequel to the shocking slap that nearly derailed the film's production, here's why Keanu Reeves wants to take over for Will Smith in I Am Legend 2. Insider reports say he might replace Will. Yup, you heard that right. The star of The Matrix and John Wick franchises could be setting up a whole new gig for himself. I can see why the studio would not only want an I Am Legend sequel, but would also look for an international superstar like Keanu in the lead role. In 2007, I Am Legend grossed more than half a billion smashes, and even though it's been years since the movie came out, there's a good chance it could create a viable new franchise or even an entirely new cinematic universe. You might be wondering why they'd want to replace Will Smith, especially considering his performance as Robert Neville was adored by critics and audiences alike. But there are a few reasons for wanting a change. For one thing, Neville died at the end of the film after sacrificing his life by blowing himself and a bunch of dark seekers up to give his friends a chance to escape. This wasn't just a sentimental move either, because they were trying to find a cure for the disease and get it out into the world. So Neville's sacrifice sealed his fate and status as a legend, which explains the name of the film in the process. Another reason Keanu might replace Will is that he tends to avoid signing on for sequels, with the exception of Men in Black and Bad Boys, of course. Whether it's Suicide Squad or Independence Day, Smith usually doesn't like the idea of sequels, and that's a big problem for studios looking to cash in on his fame. If the rumors are true, it wouldn't be the first time Keanu got a role that was supposed to go to Smith. Did you know that Will was the Wachowski's first choice for Neo? True story. Keanu only snagged the role because Smith didn't want it. Apparently, Will didn't understand the plot of the film and wasn't impressed by Wachowski's pitch. In his view, Wild Wild West was the better choice, and we all know how that turned out. Flop City. The Matrix became a multi-billion dollar franchise, and I doubt anyone even remembers the weird steampunk film that Will did instead. Oh, Will has a history of making lousy decisions when it comes to choosing his projects. With that said, while the rumors of Keanu starring in the I Am Legend sequel are true, he won't be stealing the spotlight from Will yet again because he's not getting the lead role. It turns out that Keanu will be playing the villain, and it'll mark the sixth time in his career that he plays the bad guy. He's known for playing heroes with a strong set of ethics in a laundry list of movies, made a name for himself saving the world in The Matrix, saved innocent people from some lunatic threatening to blow up a bus, and kicked off a brutally violent chain of events after avenging the murder of his beloved dog Daisy, who was a gift from his late wife Helen. The dog lover angle made him a great prospect for I Am Legend 2, because Neville's relationship with his loyal canine companion was a big part of the first film. But the reveal that Keanu's playing an antagonist does away with all that speculation and raises questions about what his character will be like. As of right now, there's not a lot of information but there are still plenty of theories to chew through. One theory suggests that Keanu will likely be playing a dark seeker, but not just any dark seeker. Their mysterious leader will unite his fellow zombie vampire hybrids to wipe out any remaining humans. I don't know about you, but I can't see the studio hiding Keanu's face under layers of prosthetics, so he might be playing a human being. Even though I Am Legend made it seem like Neville, Anna, and Ethan were the only humans left, there's gotta be other survivors hiding somewhere, and if there are, they could have a leader who's totally off his rocker, desperate to hold on to power or find a cure. We've seen this trope time and time again in post-apocalyptic fiction, and Keanu would be the perfect choice to play a character like this. We can also learn a thing or two by checking out his co-star, none other than Michael B. Jordan. Jordan was confirmed to star in the film way before the Keanu rumors came to light, and he's come a long way since he played Wallace on the Wire as a kid, and he's had starring roles in Fruitvale Station, Black Panther, and the Creed franchise. Now he'll be playing a villain in I Am Legend 2, and I'm sure he'll knock it out of the park given his portrayal as Killmonger in Black Panther, one of the most ruthless villains ever. That means we have a fresh young superstar and a veteran A-lister in antagonistic roles, so who's playing the hero? And there's too much going against Will for him to return, right? Wrong. 
wrong. I guess the rumor mill was incorrect after all because the studio confirmed Will's return as Robert Neville. But wait, isn't he dead? Is his character just going to appear in flashbacks or something? Or maybe the film will feature some of Neville's video logs from all those experiments. Nope, Will's character will be returning in the flesh, which makes I Am Legend 2 a direct sequel to the first film instead of a loose continuation that'll act as a soft reboot. In case you're wondering how that's possible, it all has to do with the secret alternate ending to I Am Legend. Open the door, please. What are you doing? The theatrical release featured that self-sacrifice ending I talked about earlier, but the original cut had Neville surviving against all odds, and we only got to see it in the DVD release. The studio swapped the endings out because of a poor audience response during test screenings, which is kind of weird because it happens to be the original ending from the source material. But I guess the customer's always right. So the studio decided to alter the ending Richard Matheson wrote in his book, hoping that the more tragic ending would have a greater impact on audiences. Audiences didn't have a problem with Neville surviving, but they didn't like a specific reveal that only happened in the original ending. You see, when Neville makes it out alive, he discovers that the Dark Seekers aren't just violent monsters that are out to get him, but creatures with feelings and desires, and they're just as afraid of humans as we are of them. Modern day viewers tend to prefer complex villains with some shades of gray, so it looks like the sequel will take the alternate ending and run with it. But that doesn't answer one very important question. What's the film going to be about? I mean, the original book ended with Neville discovering the true nature of the Dark Seekers, so there won't be any more source material to work with, but the alternate ending does create some exciting new directions and possibilities for the story. Neville will keep experimenting on the Dark Seekers, and he now knows that the mutants that attacked him at the end of the first film weren't trying to harm him. I know, I know. You're probably calling BS on that, but I'm dead serious. They were only trying to save their fellow Dark Seeker from Rob's clutches, which adds a whole new layer of complexity to the Dark Seekers. Producer Akiva Goldsman confirmed that the sequel will be set in the same location, mainly New York City. And he also mentioned that The Last of Us is a huge inspiration for the plot. We might be seeing Neville go on some cross-country adventures to find the ultimate cure. And the fact that the Dark Seekers aren't simply vicious, bloodthirsty monsters, Will up the stakes for the sequel. Honestly, it's a miracle the film's even being made, because Will's infamous slap at the 2022 Academy Awards nearly left it dead in the water. We've all seen the memes, talked endlessly about the implications, wondered what it meant for Smith's career, and it's changed the way we see the guy who some of us remember as the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. The actor used to be a bona fide leading man, but at least in the minds of some fans, slapping Chris Rock was inexcusable, and they no longer wish to see see him in anything. The controversy surrounding his behavior might have killed the film before production even began, but fortunately things have cooled down a bit. So there you have it. That's why Keanu Reeves wants to take over for Will Smith in I Am Legend.